guys. Uh, so we are Penny with a Twist Indianapolis again, and we're gonna go through a lip tutorial for you today. So I'm gonna show you a basic sort of two-tone lip, and then I'm gonna show you one to make your lips a little juicier, get them popping, okay? Now I'm gonna demonstrate on Queenie over here. If you're curious about the outlines that I've done on here, I do have a tutorial for that in another video. So you can click over to that if you are curious about those. Uh, but once again, we're just trying to share all these tips and tricks for you guys at home while we're doing our take-home kits who are all kind of socially distancing ourselves. Remember, you can get those at PotteryByYou.com and you're gonna look for the art to go go kits. We give you everything you need and we're gonna go through this lip tutorial right now. So in general, for your lips, the upper lip is going to be a little darker than the bottom lip and you just want to think about where the light is hitting. So the bottom lip is naturally going to get a little more light on it, which is why it's going to be a little bit lighter. So for Queenie over here, to keep it simple, I'm just going to take a kind of medium pink. I've mixed a little bit of white and red together and all I'm going to do to start is take a line right across the middle. So left to right corner, easy peasy, just like that. Then up above, we're going to fill in the whole thing. Now what you want to do is outline first. Remember on the edges and very similar to the outlining video we had before. So again, you can refer back to that, but you want to use long brush strokes. Okay. So I'm going to go right up to that edge, long brush strokes, going all up to the sides there, filling in that entire upper lip. Okay. Now for the bottom lip, I'm just adding a little more white to my brush. We're just going to lighten up that pink a little bit. Now I'm painting right over those edges so you can see any little edges we mess up with skin tone are going to be perfectly fine. Now right in between here I like to just slightly blend together that darker pink and the light pink because it really doesn't need to be too perfectly distinct. Okay, But just like that, very very simple for your basic lip. Again, darker shade on top and a lighter shade on the bottom. Now once you've done that, you can grab a little bit of white and we can go in and we can add just a little highlight here and there. And you can see we can get her looking all cute. Just a few little highlights, make it nice and easy. Okay, now on this same lip, I'm actually just going to kind of brush this out a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make a juicier lip and I'm going to wipe away just a little bit of this paint here. So we can start a little more fresh. Okay. Now I've got an example over here. We've got Babylicious. So you can see she's got some nice juicy lips. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. For this, they are slightly open in the middle. So we're going to have a little bit of a shadow. Now that doesn't need to be too extreme. Remember, we're just going to bring that little bit of shading inside. We're going to use a little bit more of a gradient. So if you think about how maybe you would outline your lips with a slightly darker lip liner and then use a slightly lighter lipstick, that's going to be that same idea because that's going to give you that volume on the sides. Okay. So we're going to add just a little bit of shading on the sides, but very similar to the last one, we're going to kind of fill in first and then we will tweak those little areas. So I'm just going to go back to my little brush, just rinsing off a tiny bit. Okay. Now I'm going to do a darker shade for these lips. So I'm just going to start by going in with kind of a medium pink. Okay. And I'm just going to fill in the lips first. Don't even worry about dividing your lips in half. You don't need that little kind of dividing line. We're just going to paint right into them. Just filling it in. Okay. So that's just your base. Now on top of this, in order to get a slightly darker color, I'm actually taking a tiny, tiny bit of black and I am going to mix that with a little bit of this red. You can even go in with just red by itself, but I'm going to use this around the edges first. I'm not worried about the center yet, but I'm just going to use this around the sides and kind of see, you want to start by outlining and then you can just kind of blend those edges. Same thing on the bottom. Okay. Even just doing that, we start to get a little bit more volume. Now in the middle here, we're going to take a line across just like we did with the last one, but we're just going to leave a little gap. So what I'm going to do is 
kind of work my way across and I'm just going to go up slightly and then down again. You can kind of see how it's basically a straight line but I've moved just a tiny little bit upward in the center just so we have that kind of little fill sort of look and then on the bottom I'm just going to make another edge to that. Okay, so you can kind of see where we're going to have the little opening for her lip. Now before you worry about shading that in perfectly, I'm just going to add a little more shadow, kind of blend out those edges with your darker color. Okay, now remember you can always go back in with more of your kind of reds and stuff. So this is still kind of just your base. Now for the center, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of black, just black, and a tiny bit. You don't need this to be too big. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in this little diamond shape. You can kind of see it's gonna be a little wet in there so it doesn't need to be perfectly black. Okay, but I kind of have that little diamond shape and then I'm just gonna kind of bring that out to the edges. So we kind of have that little center gap. And don't worry if it sticks out too much right now. Okay, because what you're gonna do, wipe off that brush then I'm going to go in with red by itself and I'm going to use that to sort of blend those edges again. So you can see we still have that little bit of shadow in the middle. I'm going to bring a little shadow over the top. Don't be afraid of really kind of emphasizing those curves of the lips, especially the top and bottom. Okay. Now the other nice thing, once you've done that, you can go back in with say your medium pink, and you can use that to sort of bring out the volume of the lips. So you can see as I'm adding that lighter color back in, we're gonna bring in a little bit more volume. I'm still leaving a little bit of shadow on the sides. And you can see a lot of this is just kind of blending as you go. Now I know this one is a little more advanced than the normal kind of two-tone lip, uh, but just keep in mind, there's a lot of wiggle room here. You can keep blending, you can keep adjusting. So if you need to add more shadow or more highlights, you absolutely have that option. Just take a breather, it's all good, okay? You can even go back in and kind of darken that little center area if you need to. I'm gonna make mine just a tiny, tiny bit darker so you can kind of see she's just a little bit juicier. If you wanna go in, make your edges just a little bit darker. You can kind of see, I'm just kind of bringing that little curve in here, just like so, okay? Now on top, to add some highlights, I'm gonna first go in with just kind of a light pink, light pink, so I'm not white just yet, but I'm gonna use that to sort of emphasize that curve, kind of the cupid's bow at the top, and a little bit of the curve underneath that top lip. So you can kind of see, just like that, we're gonna add just some quick little highlights. Okay, now you can always stop here, okay? Her lips are looking plenty juicy like that, but you can always go in with just white afterwards, and we're gonna use that just to kind of create a little bit of a highlight just here and there. I'm just gonna kind of let that sort of taper off a little bit. So that is all you need to do, okay? Remember, this one, I know it looks a little more complicated, but there's a lot of wiggle room. You can just kind of keep working those lips back and forth just to make sure that you're staying inside the outline. You can always adjust. You can let it dry for a second. Go back in with your darker tones. You saw how I painted over and wiped away that lip the first time. You can do the same thing here if you really need to go back in and kind of reestablish those shadows or something, okay? But that's a really kind of, simplified version uh, but again don't be afraid to kind of get some contrast in there enjoy these little highlights it's kind of nice to juicy up those lips okay so we're gonna get you all taken care of just like that okay easy peasy so as soon as you got that just take your brush in the water and you're done Okay, so thank you so much, you guys. I hope that makes lips just a little bit easier for you. You just wanna kind of take your time and remember, you can always do just a simplified version. Just make sure that top lip is gonna be a little bit darker than your bottom lip and a few little highlights and you're good to go. Thank you so much.